I don't expect most of you to know where <laughs> this is, but this is the Placer County Courthouse in Auburn, California. And this is such an interesting town, I thought I would take some time to just show it to you. This is, of course, the largest and probably the best known landmark. You can't really see the details of the town from here, but I'm actually on the steps of the courthouse looking down over the old part of Auburn. And I'll take you down there, a couple things I want you to see. Look how beautiful this is. So to orient you, I want to see, I was up there by that rotunda a few minutes ago, and I walked down this street, and then I wanted to show you downtown Old City Auburn, and that's what we're looking at here. We're just going to stroll through here. Okay, so I was over there, and uh, again, the rotunda's up this way. The city streets are, of course, divided up kind of differently here. Now we're looking up the main street all the old buildings and things that you can see here and whether or not I should like this kind of food is really immaterial the fact is it's one of the most wonderful restaurants I've ever been to and it's right there it's called Old Town Pizza if you come here you'll have to definitely find this place I understand Awful Annie's just above it is very good too might be a little hard to see with the sun in it right there but there you are. So Awful Annie's there, and here's Old Town Pizza here. Let me take you inside. So you come in this door right here, and look at this. Isn't this just fantastic? It is just fantastic. Everything you'd ever want. Very nice. I like this booth in particular. We cheat the other guy and pass the savings on to you. And there's a sign over here I really liked as well. Uh, I think I, I have uh, had this reiterated to me several times. Okay, so I'm back at the, the brewery here. It's called the Auburn Ale House. There it is right there. And you know, I really have an appreciation for the ancient Egyptian art of making beer. Thank goodness for the Egyptians. Is this fantastic or what? Fantastic. definitely be coming back here. And why would I be taking a picture of the Empire Livery Stable? You know, language just absolutely fascinates me. And uh, think about the word livery and delivery. D meaning, you know, drop from or, or, or negate or minus. Livery. So livery obviously is the root word for delivery. I could go into more of it, but I think you get my point. And here we go with uh, an old map of the town. Show you what it looks like. Hopefully you can see all that. Kind of neat, huh? They have all these little quaint places that are kind of out of the way. You just kind of walk in and it's relaxing and quiet. Take you for a little jaunt here, let you see this. We've just come out of this, the town right over there, and we're coming down this little cobblestone way. How are you folks today? <laughs> this is really something. It's just little out of the way places like that that just make it very, very nice. And here's Gold Rush Plaza. You know, a lot of places have this type of shopping area now, but. Another thing, you know, it's just kind of a neat little place to go. A little walkway down in the building here. Lots of little shops. 
And ice cream always a favorite. I'm surprised how many of them are closed up, but they probably open up later in the afternoon. Oh, look at this. <laughs> That's colorful and nice. How are you, sir? Good. Really fascinating. It looks like there's a really fancy restaurant right here. It's not open right now, but kind of give you an idea. Well, I walked up the hill on the other side of town. You can see these older homes. And look at this old place here. <laughs> Preserving the past for the future. Auburn's Joss House. You can tell that's a piece of American history. And then here we are looking down over the town from the other side. The rotunda is off to my right there, which you should be able to see, I think, any second right there. So just to kind of orient you to what the place is like as far as the way it's laid out. Hope you enjoyed that. Well you go through the the newer part of Auburn, it's still pretty old, and you come out Highway 49 here and I wanted to show you this because it really is beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that just spectacular? And I'm headed out to a wilderness area you know how I often do that. And we'll be going that way right over there. Try not to move the camera too much, but you can see the river down there. Isn't that just, that's just very beautiful. One of the things about California, you can find just about anything that you really need, and this is going to be exciting. noisy here but off of Highway 49 you cross the North Fork of the American River and I thought you'd like to see this it's really quite pretty an old bridge there in the background oh and of course there are some uh, <laughs> other reasons to come out to the river yes I still notice Well, we're losing light quickly. I put the camera here by the brook where I am so that you could hear the running water. Let me list, let you listen to that for a few seconds. Few things more soothing than running water, <laughs> as long as it isn't in your house in a leaky faucet. I did have a thought that, you know, I should probably include a little something as I usually do even though I'm kind of do a, doing a sightseeing video. And the thought that I would have is, is that we really do need to take care of the earth. I think that is a responsibility. But, but part of taking care of the earth is taking care of each other. And greed, especially now that there are international corporations that answer to no one but themselves and in fact bribe government officials to allow them to do anything that they want to do, you know, for show they'll slap them with a, you know, maybe $50 million fine or something like that. But when they've taken billions of dollars, you know, that's like if you made $100 taking just a few cents from you. So international corporations believe that they can govern things better. You know, it never fails. It's, it's not who governs, it's how. You know, Einstein, I think I brought this up before, Einstein thought that scientists should rule the world because they would do it in a logical, reasonable manner. 
Well, we see how climatologists who want to get their money from the threat of global warming have misused that. And then, of course, there are others that we could go through, you know, religious leaders? Yeah, well, no, I don't think so. I, I, I think that really the government that governs best is the one that governs least, as Thomas Jefferson said. And unfortunately, even in a Republican form of government like our constitutional republic, there will be men who get into power and start to abuse that power. Bugs are starting to come out. So, as soon as, to, to, quote, <laughs> to quote someone else, two of them really, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And another guy said, you give a man a little authority as he supposes and he immediately, almost, begins to exercise unrighteous dominion. So we need to put chains on these people and hold them to it. And that's really what the Constitution is about. So I'm not giving you anything new here, but just a, a thought at the end of the day. Leaders will pretend to be what you want them to be. If they think, if, if they think that what you want is a constitutional government and people will abide by the Constitution, they'll pretend to do that. If they think that you want a socialist government, a fascist government, if they think that you want a free check from the government, of course it's not free, they're putting a gun to somebody else's head to take the money away from them and give it to you. The point is they'll say anything to stay in power. They will do anything to stay in power. So without a moral and principled people that insist that their leaders abide by moral principles, it's not going to happen which is probably why a lot of really spiritual people who uh, talk about the necessity for God governing things uh, look forward to that because no man seems to be capable of it. So having a Republican form of government where, where there are principles of freedom, basic liberties that are inviolate even if the majority wants to do away from away with them the, the the constitution the republican form of government that law prevents them from smashing even a minority of people who want to exercise those rights i'm not talking about racism i'm not talking about sexism because those are things that get us off the real issues okay i'm talking about real liberties the right to free speech the right to have a place you can call your own of course you have to work for it. The right to own firearms to protect your family. The right to a trial by jury. A jury that can, can nullify the law. And any number of other things. So those need to be inviolated. And if we want to keep this land, if we want to allow our children to appreciate and grow here, folks, we, we really do need to stop watching the television set. We really need to stop being more concerned about what our football team is doing than what we're doing, what our government's doing. And that, not just here, but around the world. There's a lot of bad propaganda going against Russia right now. You know, I, I'm not foolish enough to think that the Russians won't prepare militarily for the inevitable. To do otherwise would be foolish. So there's a lot of rhetoric, a lot of propaganda on both sides, but the bottom line in all this is that the United States and its allies were the ones that started this whole thing in the Ukraine. With overthrowing that government there, causing this entire dissension, and then turning around and saying Russia's causing dissension or supporting the dissenters or whatever. You know, I just hope that everybody sees what's going on here. I fear two things. I fear that man will annihilate his fellow man and all the men, women, and children in the life of this earth for stupid, selfish, idiotic reasons, which the Illuminati and the elite 
really want to do. They do want to kill off everybody, but a small, small number. And, you know, they, they probably even kill themselves because they hate mankind that much. It's in their genes. If they have any, any human characteristics at all. But the other thing is, is I really hope, I really, really hope that we raise our, our consciousness, our concern for our fellow man to the extent that the divine, whether it be our combined consciousness or a separate entity, and of course I believe it is another entity that we are tied to, will reach down and prepare a place for the pure in heart. Simple message, and I know it's somewhat redundant, but what else am I going to say? <laughs> I mean, it's how I feel. It's why I'm out here. I'm hoping that maybe I'll get some inspiration. <laughs> I have to use some bug spray, though, to get rid of the bugs. It's one thing about pestilence. They, uh, they definitely keep you from thinking the way you'd like to. Kind of brings you down to the real world. All right. Hopefully things aren't falling apart. Not that I could do anything to stop it while I'm gone. But things don't look good, of course. And it all looks like it's coming to a head. So I'll be doing a little contemplating, a little meditating, a little prayer. Listen to the water. Try not to think about the cars going by or any song that comes into my head. <laughs> Just listen to the voice that God has placed out in the world, in the wind, in the water, in the silence. Here's the brook. Just thought I'd show you what it's like at night here. I don't know if you can hear the water. Should be able to hear the uh, crickets. Okay, I don't know how this green light will show up, but it's a little easier on the eyes. Thought about another thing I should say. You know, uh, I, I, I received an email from a friend and he was talking about how Obama can't do anything right and uh, how Obama's been proven to be aligned with Islamic uh, extremists. And, and I know all that. But I, I would hope that everybody understands that this is not just an Obama phenomenon, that, that the presidents and the Congress and the Defense Department and all these people, the intelligence agencies, have all been really involved in subverting goodness everywhere and causing dissension and wars it's not incompetence and I, and I hope you understand that it's not incompetence it's planned this way this is what they do so please don't fall into that left right paradigm and think that it's all going to be fixed when the Republican gets in or for you Democrats when the Democrat gets in whatever it's that's not the issue they're just the front men we really need to get rid of these guys behind the scenes okay and I'll listen to a few more crickets here